I'm Abby Myers, and we're from the Walmigo FFA chapter. I'm Rochelle Wiley. I'm Anna Carpenter. I'm Channing Schneider. I'm Laura Carpenter. Yeah. This is my horse, Humphrey. It appears Humphrey has been exhibiting signs of colic and is in extreme pain. He weighs 1,100 pounds. Okay, so it's Humphrey is 1,100 pounds and he's been exhibiting signs of colic. We'll administer 11 milliliters of banamine through a 12 milliliter syringe and with an 18 gauge needle that's a, inch and a, that's a half an inch long. In intravenous injection. Okay, now that we know that what his symptoms are, we're going to administer benamine, and I'll produce a label for our syringe. First, I'll put the patient's name, which is Humphrey, and you said he was 1,100 pounds? Yes, ma'am. And then the date, April 22nd, 2015, and we're going to administer benamine 11 milliliters, and the vet initials is Channing Snyder, so it's CS, and we're going to administer this intravenously in the jugular vein. Next, we're going to take a cotton ball and soak it in rubbing alcohol to get the syringe properly sterilized. We are now going to withdraw the 11 milliliters of banamine from the syringe. To do this, we will first wipe the top and rubber stopper of our banamine bottle to make sure it's sterile. And then, well, we uncap our needle and place it into the bottle while holding it upside down. I'll now withdraw 11 milliliters from the bottle. And pull the needle out of the bottle. I'll now cap to make sure all my air bubbles are at the top and gently press to get all the air out. <laughs> I will now recap it so our vet doesn't stab herself. Now that we have the animal safely restrained, we will inject the banamine. First, we will rub him with rubbing alcohol. Then I will find the jugular vein. Then I will uncap the needle and desensitize the animal and quickly inject him with the banamine. I will then pull the needle out, put more rubbing alcohol on him, and put the cap back on the needle and then make sure he's okay. After injecting the animal, I will take care of the needle. First I'll remove the needle and I'll place it in a shark's container. And then I will safely remove my gloves. I brought in my 1,100 pound horse Humphrey, who is exhibiting signs of colic and was in extreme pain. We then determined uh, how much banamine to use and to inject it intravenously through his jugular vein. We injected 11 milliliters of banamine and we used a 12 milliliter syringe with an 18 gauge needle that was a half, one and a half inch long, inches long. Then later I prepared the label to put on the syringe to have the proper information to give Humphrey. And then we put a cotton ball and then soaked it in rubbing alcohol to get the syringe sterilized. I then came and withdrew the banamine from the bottle after I um, scrubbed the top of the banamine bottle with the rubbed, rubbing alcohol soaked cotton ball. Withdrew it using a needle and prepared it for our vet to give the injection. I then properly injected Humphrey with the banamine and then got rid of my needle properly and took my gloves off. 